Listen up. One day I just woke up and I told myself I would never be broke or broken again. You are a moment, you are a memory. Get the narrative out of your head that I can't afford to change. Working out is free. Cutting toxic people out of your life is free. Are we understanding this? It's free. And if it's not free, the price is not as high as you've been playing yourself to believe it is. Somebody is waiting to make the connection with you. This is the day that you smile more. This is the day that you believe. This is the day that you see the future. This is the day that you step into hope, that you step into joy. This is the day that you repay people's rudeness with kindness. This is the day that you are not easily triggered. This is the day that you snap out of it. This is the day that you pray for your haters, that you forgive those who have wronged you. This is that day. This is the day that everything is going to change because change started with you. I had enough. I wanted to make sure my mother was good for the rest of her life. I wanted to make sure my wife didn't have to work another day in her life. I wanted to make sure I could sow into my family that I could advance the human race forward. Why am I here? And the moment that I discovered that, everything began to change. And so I realized that I don't have time to waste. Every millisecond is accounted for. And it doesn't matter how I failed yesterday. It doesn't matter who did not accept me, who rejected me, who overlooked me, who undervalued me, who stabbed me in my back, who did not see my value. None of that matters. Yesterday is gone. All I have is the present. All you have is the present. What are you going to do with the day? How are you going to level up? How are you going to go to the next level? Because everybody wants to have a fantastic day, but nobody wants to plan it. You don't get great haphazardly. You don't get great accidentally. You don't have an incredible day without putting work into it. And so the question I want to ask you is this, are you planning your day? Because good days don't just happen, they are engineered, they are planned. You don't just get where you want to go because you want to go there. You have to do something, you have to become someone. They call it future pacing or future progression. It's a mental rehearsal, it's putting yourself in the future right now in the present and it's you seeing yourself where you're supposed to be seeing yourself fulfilling your destiny seeing yourself living where you're supposed to live driving what you're supposed to drive seeing yourself fulfilling the purpose and the calling that's on your life it's it's a mental rehearsal sometimes life can get cumbersome and difficult and daunting and it requires, and the present requires you to think on the weight of glory that awaits you in the future. Sometimes, in order for me to get to the future, I do need to think about it. I do need to meditate on the future just a little bit. Not just plan, but see myself in the future. See myself walking the walk, talking the talk. I don't know where you are right now. I don't know how broken you are. If you're battered and bleeding, and I don't know if you're sinking in quicksand metaphorically, but I'm just wondering if there's somebody out there that will see the hope of a future, that will see that tomorrow doesn't have to be today. And you may be in one of the biggest battles of your life, but you are at the precipice of a blessing. Man, I believe that blessings and battles can happen all at the same time. I'm just wondering if there's anybody that's listening to me that believes that if you're going to win the day, if you're going to win the week, if you're going to win the month, the quarter, the year, then you've got to plan it. You need schedules and parameters and frameworks and protocols. You've got to get your stuff in order. Type in the chat, get your house in order. Type in the comments, 
Get your house in order. Get your head in order. If you want the future, come on, watch your mindset, watch your mouth, watch your money, watch your relationships. You want your future? You need to get organized. You're going to have to set an alarm and wake up at times you don't feel like getting up. You're going to have to do what you don't feel like doing consistently to snap out of motivation and break into discipline. Because discipline is not about what I feel like doing. Discipline is a duty. Discipline is what I've been called to do. Discipline is what I was born to do. Discipline is what is required to get to that next level. It's not about what I feel. It's not about a feeling. I'm not approaching destiny sensually. I am approaching destiny on the wings of discipline. I need a routine. I need to get to sleep so I can wake up at the appropriate time. Man, you gotta start going to bed. You gotta start getting the rest that is required to power your day. When we sleep, we get refueled, we get re-energized, we can reimagine, we can position ourselves for an incredible day. I ask people all the time, you wanna do something? Write it down, because if it's not scheduled, most likely you won't do it. When I write something down, it's scheduled, and when it's scheduled, it mandates what I do. Write it down. You want it? Write it down. You see it in your future? Write it down. You want to make that move? Write it down. Before you say something, write it down. Motivational and transformational speakers all throughout history have asked the question, man, how hungry are you? It's your time, it's your turn, this is the hour, this is the season, this is the moment that you have been waiting for. And there are people that are waiting on you to manifest. I gotta start exercising, I gotta start getting the sleep that is required to fuel the life that I see in my head. I'm absolutely puzzled at the amount of people that I've come across over the course of my life that want new area codes, new zip codes, new houses, new cars, new networks, and they don't want to change. They don't want to grow. They don't want to give. They don't want to evolve their thinking. They want to stay in the same place, but they want to move as fast as a Lamborghini. They want to go, but they don't want to grow. It's unbelievable. In the arena of life, when we look at one team against another, whether it's the field or the court or the gym, the opponent in the ring, in the cage, it doesn't matter. Both teams practice in the arena of life. Everybody's practicing something. Everybody has a program. And the question you have to ask yourself is, is your program working for you now? If you want a different output, you gotta change the input. We all wanna go somewhere, but we don't wanna read the books that are required to get there. We don't want to follow through with the disciplines and the schedules and the frameworks that are required to get us where we got to go. I want to lose weight. I want this physique. I want my health to be here, but I don't want to walk. I don't want to run. I don't want to change my eating. I don't want to update my circle of influence. For many of you, the reason why your, your life hasn't changed is because your atmosphere hasn't changed and your atmosphere reveals where your focus is. You have people in your life, there are habits that you've held on to that are keeping you locked in this place and you're begging to leave, but you haven't been disciplined enough and hungry enough to change, to level up in your thinking, to shift relationship dynamics to walk in a deeper measure of emotional intelligence. Like the life that you want is gonna require a different you today. And so I'm just wondering man, if there's anybody listening to me out there that wants to go to that next dimension. Today is my day that everything changes in my future because I'm gonna to change today. And so we need to not just have a prepared message but we need to be a prepared people. If you're going to be a college professor or a captain of industry or a keynote speaker or some type of lecturer or some type of leader or some type of innovator or orator or facilitator, it's not enough to just have a prepared message. You've got to be a prepared person. If you're going to punch through your targets today, you're going to have to plan it. In the arena of life, he who practiced well will play well. He who practiced great will play great. What 
does practice do? Practice prepares us. The reason why your days don't go the way you anticipate, you hoped they would go, is because you're stepping into your day without a plan. You are directionless. You are not groomed. You are not prepared. Whoever you are and wherever you are, if you can hear my voice, you made it another day. And that's something to get excited about. Even if you've lost all hope and you've lost all motivation, I need you to understand that you can recover it all right now. You may not have all the motivation. You may not have all the peace about your situation. You may not be exactly where you want to be. If you can hear my voice, you made it one more day and that is worth something. You are a moment, you are a memory. Everybody that you encounter today, lives will be marked forever because you brought your A-game. You brought everything you could to touch that life. And you may never be here again. So today, give it all you have.